Hey, welcome back to Ponix Haven. I'm glad you're watching and um hope we're finding you are having a wonderful day. We got another exciting video. Um if you have a a little giant incubator, um I have had success and failure. There has not been consistent consistency with this um incubator. Um and I've I've got four stair fan in it. I've got um egg turner. Um I've got about two hundred dollars in a styrofoam um little giant made in the USA piece of junk to me anyway. Um I've got other incubators, but what do you do with this? You bought you bought one, you've got two hundred dollars in it by the time you bought the egg turner, the force fan, um so you are just out of out of that pocket of that money. So I was thinking what can I do with it to make it better? So this is the lid. So what we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of it. And what we're gonna at the end of this video we're gonna show you by the end of this video we are going to show you how to make this stay tuned all right now with this um this incubator right here the little giant i'm sure there's a lot of people out there that has one that has extremely a lot of trouble with it. I've got the the fan in it. I have the the egg turner in it. And if you have bought all these parts separate, you know what you got in it. You've got close to two hundred dollars in this contraption. Now you still know that you have a horrible time trying to incubate eggs in this thing it's just there's no consistency in this thing it's big it's bulky it's just aggravating um i have had success with it the last year and a half but it's been hit and miss so i've come up with this idea that i'm doing um, I feel like there is just so much space in that, dead space in there that needs to be eliminated. So, this is what I come up with. I made a frame. 16 and a half by 16 and a half. Hardwood. It's not soft wood, it's hardwood. Okay? I'm going to round these edges so that it will fit where this, where this is where this sets okay I'm gonna mount a piece of plexiglass on top of this okay and I'm going to take all of this equipment and mount it on that plexiglass okay I'm gonna eliminate this all the way down to right here okay take away a lot of that dead space and I'm gonna open it up where I can see in there cause you know the windows you cannot see nothing out of this so I'm gonna get more space to see through and um now I feel like you're gonna have less of a humidity problem too because you're getting away rid of a lot of the dead space in there that you don't need and it's gonna be easier to heat to stay heated because of it yeah you're taking away the styrofoam top so therefore it's you you may think that it's going to going to take more to heat 
but I don't think so. I'm in a controlled environment inside my house with AC. So, or heat in the winter, so I don't feel like there is a problem there. So, therefore, um, there shouldn't be an issue there. So, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go through the process with this. So, this is the first step. Um, I'm going to mount the plexiglass on there and then I'm going to round the edges with the plexiglass on it to get a better looking thing and when I get that done I'll come back and show you the ed how it looks from there alright alright now as you can see it looks a lot different from when it was I've actually painted the wood I have rounded the edges and you've got to round the edges for it to fit into the groove of the styrofoam for the little giants so I, I've got a belt sander I just rounded the edges you probably could cut it with a jigsaw or bandsaw or whatever I just I just did it with a uh, belt sander didn't take long to do it it just a few seconds what I did was had the plexiglass cut to the shape of it mounted it on there on the corners and then um, grinded grinded it with uh, plexiglass on there so it Grinded both of them at the same time so I could get a perfect shape of it. So that's how they look so uniform. Yeah, that's what I did. So, but I'm going to give you the dimensions. So, what I cut was two pieces of one by two that I bought hardwood instead of um, softwood. You can buy softwood if you want to. Um, by pine or but I bought oak two pieces of one by two 16 and a half inches long okay they need to be square cut use a um, compound miter saw two pieces one by two 15 inches long okay I screwed them together with some um what they call um uh, what are these screws? I'll show you. These are what they call um, trim screws. Let's see if I can get it to. They're like a square head, but they've got a real small head and they countersink into the wood easy to caulk over their trim screws like if you like go and screw into metal or something like trim to metal or something like that like that but anyway that you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's that's what I used to put it together with so I could countersink these screws so they would so I when I grinded that down they would be there so anyway now I'm gonna go over the measurements for the hole here now when you go to take this off this sets on top of the plastic as you can see see if I can get this to pull up here you see this recesses down recesses in there so anyway this thing's still running okay I pulled up you can screenshot this if you want to I'll hold it out so you can get the measurements you can screenshot this with your cell phone or whatever but anyway I'll go over you got three inches up you got seven inches over nine and a half inches over to this line you got um three inches up seven and a half inches up you got your 
you got your um, rectangle spot there. Okay, you're going to have two holes drilled right here to hold the heater. And you're coming up nine and a half inches, 11 three quarters. You're coming over eight and a quarter to get this. That is the center line all the way down eight and a quarter. Split, you split on 16 and a half, you got eight and a quarter. So that is the center line for these two screw holes, okay? All right, I'm going to use a vibrating cutting tool to cut this out. So when we come back, this will be cut out. These holes will be drilled. Now you are going to have to drill some air vents, some air holes. Um, I'm going to drill two probably about maybe a half inch holes. I don't know if I'm going to do them here or here or there or here. Don't know yet, but um, they'll, they'll be put in here. But I'm also, once I pull the plastic off both sides, I'm going to seal around this with silicone. Seal the edges, the corners too, with silicone. So I, I'll be doing that. So stay tuned for more. Okay. All right. I've got... I've got it cut out, the hole cut out, got the plastic taken off, I've got the drills, the hole drilled in here for the air venting, just like it was on the others. Now, when drill, I'm going to give you some advice here on drilling these holes, okay? Um, you start off with the little drill bits and just work your way up. But probably when you get to where you're, um, you see, probably when you get up the three sixteenths, seven thirty seconds, um, above those two, start running your drill bits, drill bits backwards. If you don't, you will crack it. Um. And run it in slow speed. Just take your time. Put it against a board or something. Lay it flat on a board. And just work your way through it. Take your time doing it. Put it in reverse. And um, drill, drill the hose in reverse. From then on working your way all the way up to. I think I worked myself up to um, 15... No, 13, 30 seconds is what I mean. What I went up to. The hole is X. The holes are actually um, 15, 30 seconds. But um, I didn't go that high. So anyway, um, I put this in with some silicone. Um, glued it in with some silicone. I went around the inside edge of this with some silicone around the edges um, and the corners with some silicone okay um, now these bolts here I cut about that far off of them because I did not want it to touch the fan I didn't know if it was going to touch the fan I didn't take the chance so I cut a little bit of, bit of it off with some um, lineman pliers and then file the edge just a little bit. You can use a piece of sandpaper um, to do that if you have to. But anyway, here you go, the other side. But you have such, so much area to look. So let me show it to you. All right, here is the new lid for the little giant. It fits on there. Um, 
perfectly. Um, I've been running it for a day now. The humidity seems to be easy, easier to control. I'm not having no problem with stuff being overheated. Um, now, I've got a bunch of turkey eggs in there. Um, I cannot put no eggs up under the bottom of it, of the um, heater, because the turkey eggs are so big. So, yeah, that's the issue on this. But if it was just regular chicken eggs, probably wouldn't have a bit of bigger problem with it. But um, I like it. Um, it. It seems to be working out fine. Um, the humidity, humidity is working better, seems like, um, I've got a couple more ideas that I am working on how to put water in this thing without picking it up, with, without picking the lid up, and the, um, I'm on do that on another update to um to I'm gonna create a um a thing there for that so anyway thank for all right this will do it for this video thank y'all so much for watching and please keep coming back for more videos this is a little bit different than what I normally do but I thank you for watching it. Please look, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already a subscriber. I thank y'all for all the support. Um, I am just, I am just so touched with um, with all the support, the comments. Um, please comment um, below about ask questions. Um, about um, the videos on um, if you have any question on how how I built this um, where I got the things from um, anything please 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 comment below I would love to answer any questions on anything about this um, so so um, love the feedback um, if you got an idea how to help with this please i would love your feedback um and thank you so so much for um coming by and watching our videos and um continue coming back and um as always thank you and god bless you and we will see you in the next video bye for now